Um, back pain part two. Uh, I apologize for the least month's interruption, uh, but when you have hot products like Platinum Plus and Victory Seed Plant Minerals and especially Cielo Gold, uh, which are doing all kinds of marvelous things, and you're actually helping people daily all the time, and part of your job is to see that these people use these products intelligently and their doctors especially use them intelligently. It puts a tremendous drain on your time to uh, where we feel like we're in the land of Oz. We have a solution for this and it uh, revolves around training a cadre of doctors that we can refer you to uh, across the country. They don't have to be in any geographic location for what we have in mind. And they will be proficient and deliver the goods uh, so that we can rely on them to take the load off of us. Uh, right now, there are damn few doctors that even understand the causes, the diagnosis, and the simple corrections done by hand only uh, out there. I just read an article about a, a firm that's now licensing a traction machine that applies it scientifically and they claim a thriving business among doctors. Without studying the details, I'm sure that th the methods that we use exceed their best expectations both in safety and in uh, uh, added success because the results are lasting and repeatable and uh, precise. We know precisely which discs are off, what direction to correct them in, and when they are corrected. There's no other method that does that. So we uh, have uh, come up with a $10,000 challenge that we air from time to time. Nobody ever takes the challenge. That they are selling a machine without any idea of the true nature of back pain. And they could never exceed or even equal our results in side-by-side -side studies. I call this medical Oz because we now live in the United States of Oz. Uh, back to the sequence of today's back pain versus 1985 to 1995, where we dealt successfully with back pain every day, all the time. Everyone that has fibromyalgia has DDD or degenerative disc disease. That is part of our bedrock diagnosis. Uh, medicine and chiropractic, unfortunately, does not have the uh, expertise uh, or the methodology to measure these things. But that is part of our victory method of uh, chiropractic and osteopathy, and um, it is a certainty. Of all the thousands of patients that we tested, they all had A protein deficiency, and that is the single largest unknown cause of disc breakdown. Since about all the doctors live in medical laws, they never make any connection. Yet it is very, very simple. Sugar proteins called glycosaminoglycans are the prime pump in keeping the spinal disc inflated. When you are protein amino acids deficient, the body slowly loses its ability to make these proteins and repair them, and part of their job is to hold fluid in the disc. This is why you should be taller when you wake up in the morning than when you went to bed, because your body is soaking up and hydrating the discs, among other things. So hydration is so important, and we're going to address that down the line. If you can picture these sugar proteins as rows of trees who, when they're dehydrated, their arms are dragging down on the ground, their head is down on the ground. But when they're hydrated, their hands are lifted up to God and they do their job. Since you are supposed to drink water, the addition of our Platinum Plus has been shown to start the rehydration and repair of the spinal discs in 12 to 24 hours. So it is easy, it's so easy, no one believes us, except the patients that we treated, 
or go to our doctors or get well on our back pain packages without any doctors at all. The ideal situation is to have one of our Vickery trained doctors in charge and to do the final postural corrections which should last indefinitely. This monitored quarterly without endless spinal corrections was the basis for our Vickery wellness practice. Uh, we're going to show you a uh, hands-on uh, with a bony model of the spine, the spinal disc, these are lumbar vertebra, and this is a spinal disc. And this is the fellow that gets in trouble, uh, plus these joints here, the facet joints. So we're going to show you exactly so you can see directly on the bone what's happening and what happens to the disc. So when we have a lesion, and uh, say this is between the L5, L4, and the lesions on the right side affecting this nerve, but not by pinching the nerve. It's because the disc is deteriorating and sending out impulses through this nerve. So when we're, we're closing the disc, we're actually compressing it on that side, like that, and then we retest to see that we have accomplished that correction. And then we go over on the opposite side and we open that up like that. And then we retest again to make sure that correction was made. And then we take the spinous in the proper direction, which we've tested for already. And we do this with a number of respirations. And there's a hydraulic feeling of movement and you know when that has moved. And at that point you retest again and you have made a correction on this spinal disc. So it is very, very easy, very repeatable, and you can do that with a whole series of lumbar, all the lumbar discs, five lumbar discs, because they're usually in different directions. So there's no machine that can actually properly correct this. The best method, we believe, and we're willing to bet it, is done by hand, just the way I've showed you. We're going to show you now in the video. The closing side is corrected first. With just the same or a little more pressure than the was used in the, in the diagnosis, we're now going to use in the correction. We have the patient inhale and hold that while we make the correction and have him resist and then we have him breathe again. We've now made the closing correction. The test was crisp, and we go to the opening side, and we have him inhale again, and we make the correction. We have him resist us on exhalation, and we go to the correction of the spinous. The correction of the spinous is made with heavy, steady pressure and we have him breathe in and out during this process. And we usually do this a minimum of five times. We may have to do it up to 25 times in a very resistant spastic case until the movement is felt. At that point, we'll give him a signal to inhale and then exhale all the way and hold that out and we retest the muscle again. And when that's crisp, we have completed the correction of the 5L disc lesion. What you have seen, the newest graduates of chiropractic colleges have not, even though we donated them to all the chiropractic colleges. Your doctor can purchase the, book, the DVD that we're just demonstrating here for $45 and can become proficient in about six months. There is some high art involved. In part three, we will explain the growing complications that infections play in managing back pain thanks to medical eyes training bacterial terrorists.